Hello and welcome to another coding homework C sharp exercise uh, for beginners. In this one, we are to design a message display application. We will allow users to enter their name and favorite saying in a single method that gets invoked two times. First, call the method asking for the person's name and send a string argument indicating what value should be entered. Invoke the method a second time to retrieve the favorite saying. We will return the string value back to the main method and from there we will call a method sending the name and saying as an argument. From that method we will display the message showing the person's name and the say saying surrounded by rows of greater than less uh, symbols like these. Alright, so this is uh, basically an exercise uh, showing how to use method and how to pass the arguments. In bet uh, between methods. So we need to method. I'm going to create uh, a method. Uh, it's going to be public. It's going to be static because uh, we don't have any classes. We have only one class which is program and that one is uh, has a method that is static by default. So all these uh, I'm just keeping static as well so they can be called directly. It's going to return a string and it's going to return basically the name and the saying and we will uh, call it, I'll just call it message. And uh, it's supposed to return something, it's supposed to return a, a string, so that's why it's underlined, it says uh, not all code pass return a value. So just to, to keep it from erroring, I'm going to return an empty string for now. And we will have another public static, but this one's going to be void because this one is not going to return anything. This one simply is going to display display the output. But this one is going to take two strings. The first one is the name and the second one is the phrase or the saying that the user enters. So this one doesn't return anything, it's void, so this one doesn't have any return statement in it. Now so I'm going to ask the user, uh, please enter your name. And then again, I'm going to ask, please enter your favorite saying. So normally you would do two con uh, console.writeLine line statements asking, uh, in fact, let's just do that. Console.writeLine. line, please enter your name. I can actually, yeah. Con uh, enter your name and then we will have a string called name that will capture the name but we will pass it into the message uh, we will retrieve it from the message uh, method the second one would be console dot right line and it will say something like please enter your favorite saying I'm saying like that so what I can do here instead of writing two lines this is just another little practice of how to pass uh, arguments between methods I can come over here to my message method and I can do console dot right line and I can say what what do these uh, two strings have in common. They have please enter your and then a name and favorite saying. So I can do the please enter your and the rest what I'm gonna be uh, entering whether it's name or your favorite saying I'll keep in a placeholder like that and I will then uh, pass it as an argument here. So what I can do to simplify all this is go to create my string name uh, uh, variable and I call the message method and in it I'm going to pass it says please enter your so this is a name so please enter your name and then I can do the same with string uh, phrase again it will call the message method and in it, it will pass the 
please enter your and this one will say favorite saying like that so now I can go to a message method and these are now arguments that are being passed to it these two strings so I can simply pass the string uh, I don't know message or MSG that's some for short so in other words I'm passing the name as an MSG and then second time I'm passing the favorite saying as the variable MSG so now I have my placeholder so I can uh, put the MSG there and that's what's gonna be output so again the first time I'm calling it, I'm passing the string name in it. So it will output, console right line will output, please enter your name. And the second time I'm calling it, I'm passing the favorite saying string in it. And it will output, console right line, please enter your favorite saying. So now I can return something into, these, uh, into the name and phrase. Whatever the user enters, now I can pass back to the name and phrase variables so we will return console dot read line whatever the user enters we will read and we will pass it back to wherever it is being called from so it is being called from name and then later it's being called from phrase so when this line runs I already have my name and it will return the phrase as a second time calling the same method you're calling the message method so now I can go and display the output and I already know that I need to pass the name and phrase into it so it, it will call the method it will pass the name and phrase that we received back from our message method and now I can output it so I can come over here and do our console dot right line and it will say something like your name is and it will say name and I will copy paste it and it will say your favorite saying is and it will be the phrase so if I run it now, I would have, if I enter name Powell, it would say your name is Powell and your favorite saying is, I don't know, hello world or something, whatever I would enter. But the, if you remember the exercise says that we need to uh, put uh, the symbols greater than and uh, less than around it. So basically it's just a console dot right line and I will just place Actually, I'm going to start on a new line, so I'll put the slash n for new line there. And I'll just do a bunch of these, and then I copy-paste them like that. All right, so uh, I'm going to copy-paste the whole line and place it at the end. Except this time, I don't want another line here, the new line at the beginning, because I want this to be surrounded, so it will say... It will just do these uh, symbols, then your name is, your favorite name is, and then right under it, I want the other row of these symbols, but I'll put the new line at the end of it. So let's run it. See what we get. All right, so we have, please enter your name. So I'm gonna enter Powell. Please enter your favorite saying, hello world. If I press enter, here it is. I get these characters there and it says your name is Powell and your favorite saying is hello world. So it's working correctly. So again, all you have to do is to realize what is being passed. Like this, this way, it's not really necessary to do it, especially when there's only two console.write line statements. But it shows you how to simplify statements, like how to reuse the code. Like we have one line of code instead of uh, two, which obviously is not a big deal. But again, if you had a lot of these, this would be quite a quite a help. All you have to do is find like some common pattern, something that these statements have in common. That can be hard coded, like please enter your, and whatever you are being passed into it as a message, whether it's string name 
or string favorite saying, it's passed as an argument to the string uh, variable called msg in this case. So it will output please enter your name when the first time it is called. Then it comes over here and it reads whatever the user enters and returns it back to our name variable up here. Then it comes to this line. It calls the same method, but this time it is passed in favorite saying as a string. So it will output please enter your favorite saying. And again, the user will enter something. Uh, then it comes to ret and return the read line. It will return whatever the user entered on that line and passes it back to our phrase variable. So now we have name and phrase. Now we can call our display output and pass both name and phrase into it as strings, as an arguments. So when it comes over here, we will simply do console.write line just to kind of make it pretty, I guess. They wanted us to do these uh, uh, less, less than and greater than symbols. But the point is uh, these two lines when the name and phrase is being uh, printed out. So, hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, share with your friends, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.